Hey there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Modstab, and welcome back to the Scottish Village Let's Build. So we have a handful of things going on here. We have, like, our little blacksmith with, like, the angular little uh, covering. We got the stuffing things. We got, uh, what is it, uh, beautiful bread's bakery. I don't know what do we have here. <laughs> and then we have the inn and tavern. And we have our market, like, square. So today's episode... I wanted to get something a little bit more regal in mind. And I don't mean like a giant castle, because obviously we just got done building one of those, so I don't want to replicate that again, okay? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it until I get the inspiration to do it, I guess. That you know, is what it is. So we're going to build a uh, church of Reno's, and I think what I'm... Th for the layout of this area, I think what I want to do is kind of put it out here. Um... I just think it's getting kind of crowded over in this area and I don't want to keep plopping things down without keeping in mind that I want to have some housing inlaid like on the side of that curve and maybe some housing and stuff here um, but it's it's out a little bit from everything else and so what I want to do is we're gonna build it back just a smidge speaking of I need to get a shovel a shovel Diamante shovel. all right so what I'm thinking here is it's gonna kind of have a path and I don't want it to be lined up exactly with that but I would like to have a path come out just just a little bit you know and maybe we'll do like a cobblestone path leading up to this and maybe we can interlay some stuff I don't know we'll figure it out yeah but I like that distance so first block gonna be placed I explained this a little bit to my wife so I want to have a two or I want to have a one door center excuse me because I want to have two doors in their entirety speaking of I need to change priority so I'm gonna make sure that I do that real quick all right we are back I had to reallocate some priority and stuff like that for the program um, but we're gonna go ahead and place the first block boom stun stairs okay <laughs> all right so what I want to do is have like a two door um, entrance with a pillar in the middle so what I want to do here is let's go yeah, let's go this wide and I before I get too carried away I want to just make sure I'm not building it too awfully large so we're gonna start with something like this we're gonna do uh, I think crack stone bricks because it does have those extra textures on them we're gonna fill it in now we have this nice little kind of like patio little walkway and we want to put boom pillar all right all right I don't know if I have the regular stone bricks do I I need to get stone bricks all right where's my regular stone bricks we got cracked we got regular stone bricks and I'm gonna put those in here and I shouldn't have got rid of that so we'll get rid of the shovel now um, yeah and we're gonna kind of in whoops wrong one there we go I want to inlay some regular bricks so that way it doesn't just get boring with like repeating the same texture over and over again uh, let's look what we have for doors real quick so I can kind of get a feel for what we're looking at now generally speaking I always think of like the doors being a little bit more kind of regal in design so let's do it inlaid a little bit because I feel like I mean that's a pretty decent that has like a nice little regal feel so we'll go with that um so this is what I'm thinking about starting with now what I want to do is I'm gonna lay down the foundation so we can get an idea of what we're looking at in regards to kind of the size and spacing of the church and I will be back immediately after I do that for you. And we have returned. So I have the outline structure and I have the flooring down. I'm a big fan of that sprucey spruce wood. And so I had to do it. And I always consistently have to have this internal battle of do I go huge and gigantic or do I reel it back a little bit? And this is kind of a culmination of the two. I started by initially making it way too large and I was like, you know what, let's just downsize these small rooms. They don't need to be big old honking rooms, you know, um, because they're just kind of secondary rooms to have like a small library or like archive and then maybe like a, a pastor's office or something like that off to the side. So, yeah, well, we got the structure. So now we have to build things up. And I think this sizing makes sense. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some blue, yellow, and red stained glass. 
because I like stained glass churches. I love those Gothic architecture, but I'm going to try to keep this one a little more simple, mostly because <clears throat> I can't be too extravagant. Okay. I got to, I got to chill a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by kind of outlining everything uh, with regular uh, <clears throat> stone bricks. And then I'm going to do like chiseled stone and inlay some of these little textures once we get that squared away. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I want the stained glass to rest. Now, if you're looking at it here, would it make sense to have the stained glass this tall? We're going to do a couple. We're going to do some height uh, explorations here real quick on camera. So you guys get a feel for what I do when I actually build this kind of stuff. So it's do I go up the two blocks or do I go up three blocks to do the same thing? So let's get, oh, I switch it. I switched it. I ruined it. Okay. Oh, I ruined it again. This is my life. Okay. This is literally my life. This is, it's great. It's great. We're going to live the dream. <laughs> All right. So do I want the glass to be that height i that's so much better of a height it just kind of evens out with like the doorways and stuff and so what we'll do is we'll figure out how we want the glass to look but i'm going to bring everything up two blocks here on the trim we're going to figure out how we want those placings to be and then i will be back once we figure out where we want those glass windows to be friends all right so jump cut just to give you guys a little bit of progress here now i know it's a little bit oh hello <laughs> i know it's a little bit hard to see because we don't have any like background space that's dark for you to really catch your eye but we have the windows here and we have just a couple just like generic like crosses kind of in there because well frankly that's that's churches for you right uh, and then we have this kind of inlaid window pane idea i'm not entirely sure i like that idea because it's going to be a pain in the butt to cover on the inside but it really adds a lot of depth to the front of this building so i think we'll probably stick with it um yeah and uh yeah well we're gonna add a couple windows like this i'm not gonna go that tall on any other side maybe the back portion to create kind of that focal point um but this is very reminiscent of something you might see in like the more extravagant churches of the era a lot of them quite frankly were a lot more simple they were just smaller buildings where people could gather and worship and uh, that's just that's just how it is so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna put two windows maybe three windows here We'll probably do three windows, three really small ones, and then we'll do one big one there and maybe a couple small windows in the rooms. But I'm going to go ahead and get that um, floor plan taken care of, and then we're going to live the dream. All right. And we are back. It just so happens to be nighttime a lot of the times that I'm here, okay? So, so we have the windows laid out. I spent a little extra time, and I modified the back of this building to be a little bit more flat. So that we can get a really nice window in there without having to worry about jagged edges and lines and all that kind of stuff. Because I think it'll look a lot nicer, okay? And we got this little tiny area where you step up to like a stage essentially where then you could speak from and the acoustics are going to be a little bit better uh, from that portion because it'll be higher to the roof, which is going to be slightly domed. But, you know, it is what it is, okay? I don't have to get in the logistics of why things work. But what I'm going to do here is on the three sides. It's going to be real simple. We're just going to do yellow on one portion, right? Just to keep the color scheme going. Um, because we aren't uh, in like any type of variation of modern Minecraft, there's really no good way to add small scale designs in Windows. And even in most modded Minecraft, it's kind of always a little bit of an awkward... Um, it's always a little bit of an awkward situation anyways so just to keep the design aesthetics going the color flow from the front of the building we're just going to add the yellow red and whoopsies yellow red and blue all right and this is what we're thinking here once again just to keep it as simple as possible and now on these side areas i'm just going to go yellow okay now i know we could make a design here I'm just going to keep it real simple, though. I don't want to just replicate the same exact design aesthetic on every single room. I want it to have a little bit of anonymity uh, into in itself, I guess. Uh, so what we go here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and this is where I will do a little bit of a design. Now, we'll see if I did this all correctly, but we'll take blue. We'll go up. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll just leave that entirely blue in itself. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, 
Let's go ahead and do that same thing here because I actually really, really like how that looked. So it's not an exact one for one copy of the front doors, but it is a copy nonetheless. Yeah, I really like how that looks. It kind of gives it a little bit more depth. Now these are only one wide, so no surprise here. We're just gonna do this. Keep it real simple. Keep all the yellow schemes. And we're just gonna go through these windows on camera, I guess, right now, just so you can kind of witness my process of how I function as a human being, or barely function as a human being, depending on how you wanna interpret that. And then on this one, I thought it might be cool to maybe frame this one in red because it's gonna kind of warm everything up. All this is designed to kind of brighten up the front of the building where people are gonna enter. And then you want this to be a little bit more somber um, so that way people can really focus on like reflecting on themselves. And I think that's just a really cool idea. And so I'm gonna trim this one in red so that we can actually have that kind of semblance of reflection going on here. All right. And also, there's gonna be a lot of jump cuts, so I need to keep, I wanna keep some of it in for you guys. You know, I don't wanna just go ahead and just willy-nilly just start making things without involving you, because ultimately then it's just kind of like, hey, look what I build, I jump cut it a bunch of times. <laughs> and I think what we'll do here is boom and boom. Just kind of help round it off a little bit. We'll probably do one here as well. And that'll just kind of help round it off. And then what I kind of want to do is not a not a negative variation on this, but I would really like to kind of add some kind of cool effects. And we're just going to stick with the blue here in the central portion. Whoops. Oh, we math that out really well, actually. All right. Cool beans. Now, what I'm thinking here is we could do one of two things. Now we could, I think I, think I might actually do that. We'll kind of get like the yellow kind of halo-y effect around this centralized portion. We'll see how that looks. I think that might be the design that I stick with. Mostly because I don't have a whole lot of time to go through like six, seven different designs. And, and I can visualize um, some minor designs, but I'm a mu very much so a trial and error kind of person. Now, if we're gonna do that, I think what I'll do is I will eliminate this portion and we will just make it singular. And then we'll bring this one up one. And so what we'll do is we'll frame that with red. And I know there's a lot of different nuanced colors that you can work with, but I really like the idea of framing everything with that red. Yeah, because it's a little easier to see when I have the green in the background. It looks really nice. I like how it has kind of that red halo and then you have the kind of the white or yellow halo, excuse me. And I think what I'll do to kind of try to replicate that design, let's go ahead and add some yellow here. See if that has the effect that I am looking for, whoops looking for stop it with the breaking of the glass you guys can tell I'm real good at this game all right and that should separate it enough yeah I think I'm just gonna go ahead and we will frame the whole thing in yellow I'm just gonna go that route because it's gonna look awkward if I frame part of it and not the other part and I want to really 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 want to involve that yellow yeah, and that, that works. I, I can stick with that. There's, yeah, that's good, that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, off camera, once again, we're gonna do another jump cut. I'm gonna go ahead and build all of this up so that it matches the height of this. And then we are gonna go from there and figure out how I want the roof to peak and all that kind of stuff. And we will be back to Geno's once I get this built up. Once again, it's nighttime and we jump cut it. It's things correlate, I promise I don't plan this I really don't so we're kind of we're kind of taking structure here okay so it looks really bare um, because what I'm gonna do is add some paintings here on these sides just to kind of help fill in some of those gaps um, and I put a lectern here just so we can get an idea so you have like this little staircase uh, that'll lead up to lectern ah, and then he can talk ha ah, hi friends let's worship um, excuse me what a face of burping now I know these are dead even one here and they're not open here but 
it looks really good from outside okay it looks really good to have one in one so i'm gonna keep it as is i ain't gonna worry about it too much but however one thing i will do is i'm gonna get these staircases since we have one there i'm thinking since it's a little taller we're gonna go up to this height here we're gonna add some of the staircases replicate that design just to give it a little quick uh like that whole quick plus and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put red in the middle this time all right and then once we get that red in here then i'm gonna frame that with blue because i want things to look a little different and i'm just gonna fill it out here okay i'm just gonna make it look all nice nice and pretty all righty and i technically don't need the top up there because i don't have the bottom here but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do here, give me those staircases, where are we at? We're gonna do an upside down staircase here, just so that way it's not awkward. And we're gonna do a regular staircase here. That's right, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then we'll frame ever, absolutely everything. And that'll give it kind of the illusion of, you know, having that kind of intentional design to it. So actually what I'm gonna do here is let's go down. Yeah. Maybe we, maybe we do another staircase. We'll figure that out in just a second, but. Boop. It gets so disorienting, disorienting after you've done this for so long. Your brain is just like, so many blocks. How do I even function? Help, mommy, help. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do another set of stairs. And what I might actually do is make these spruce wood stairs to really get that contrast and color yeah let's do spruce stairs at least on the bottom yeah it's gonna give it a really nice contrast of color and so we're gonna do the same thing on top yeah I was debating whether I wanted to do the spruce on top or just stick with the stone but I think we're gonna go this route because I just like how it looks yeah that looks that looks pretty nice and it looks intentional now okay so now that we have that squared away what am i thinking here yeah that looks decent that looks really decent from the front i actually really really like how that looks now oh my gosh i wanted to be done with this by one but it is currently one as it stands right now and i've been at it for about an hour mostly filling so I know it's not super exciting for you guys. Um, but one thing I did decide to do, and we'll fly out here, is I decided to um, kind of leave this open because I think it'd be really cool to have a couple different levels of roof line. It'll create some really nice contrast and texture. And what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of these spruce wood planks. I'm gonna take the dark oak because we can replicate the colors that we've been using over here and just kind of bring them into this building. Now, one thing I want to do, whoopsies, one thing I want to do here is kind of create this little, this type of overhang, because I think overhangs are amazing. I really like overhangs on buildings in general, because not only does it look cool, but it's very functional, okay? It's very functional. Yeah, I think that'll look real nice once we get it all squared away. All right. And let's go ahead and get some dark oak planks in general. I think I'm done with stained glass. I could probably get rid of them. But what I want to do here is see if this is a good height or if I should bring this down. Keeping in mind that I will probably have most candles and things like that. I think that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable. We'll, we'll figure it out, honestly. We'll figure it out from there. But I think that's a pretty reasonable height when it comes to this anyways. You know, and if, if there's complaints, there's complaints, I guess, right? You can't win them all. You can't win them all. But this is going to look super nice off in the distance um, as you're looking at this because it ain't going to be no wonky do. And I should probably do slabs. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to do slabs because that is hideous otherwise all right let's do a dark oak slab throw this bad boy down yeah look at that it has that nice little taper and if you're looking at it from the front really creates some of that dynamic color space and then what i'm going to do here 
is I'm gonna do the dark oak planks dead even on this one just to see which one I like more all right and we might have to split this particular one into multiple episodes just because the time crunch that I have. So let's real quick, do I like walking into this room a little better? I know you can't really see it when you're walking into it, but I, I need to know, okay? These are important things. Okay, yeah, no, I like having it down. That, I mean, that didn't take very long, did it, guys? <laughs> I figured that out real quick. It just, it brings it down to a slightly more realistic scale of something that might might actually be in this building. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, boop, pop that bad boy off. All righty. And I think we're gonna just fill this up. Yeah. so much disorient disorienting so many so much sad okay not really sad but oh my land is that just like huh ah, so many blocks everything's blurred together help mommy help all right yeah, I really 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 like how this looks I really do especially with the dark oak being such a nice contrast to that stone color is just really just pops and I think what I kind of want to do as well is on the outside, once we kind of get it all squared away, get the get the roof lines and the textures and everything how we want them to be, I'm going to go ahead and inlay some of those chiseled stone as well as some of the mossy stone because I think it'll just look beautiful. I think it'll really bring a lot of depth and a lot of color into this build. Don't want that. Yeah, like look at that. Is that not bonkers? Is that not gorgeous? Now we kind of need to do the same thing around the entirety of this building. What time is it? Oh, should I brave it to get the roof on? You know what? Oh, is it, do I want to? This is hard, this is hard, okay. It's gonna take a little bit of time to do that. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do guys, I know this sounds horrible and lame to leave this off on a partial episode. But I need to get some food in my belly before I go to work. And what we'll do next episode is we will finish this off. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's episode of the Minecraft Scottish Village Let's Build. Now, this is part one, obviously, at this point. You guys already know that because of the title. But this is part one of the church build. I'm loving it so far. I really like having this secondary roof line. And I... I'm excited to continue build because I think what I'm going to do on this one that I haven't in a lot of the other ones, once I finish it and get all the textures and the outside looking nice and pretty, I'm actually going to furnish it on the inside, make it look just really nice, really smooth, really chill. I don't know. I'm excited. Remember, liking, commenting, subscribing are great tools for you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, what you want to see next. If you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing on this channel, feel free to hit the bell notification icon. We upload videos every single weekday at 7, with the exception of Wednesday, in which we live stream. That's right, from 6 to 9. It was a great time. We had a great live stream last week, and I'm thinking this coming Wednesday, we're probably going to do a subscriber live stream on Terraria. I'm going to start by doing Elder Scrolls Online for the first hour and a half. Then the last hour and a half, we'll bring in the subscribers. We'll play some Terraria, have a little fun, because we played Terraria this last stream, and everybody liked it, and they wanted to join. So I will honor that for you guys. But without further ado, and without any more rambling, remember, I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Toodles!